beauties and bows welcome back everyone so i'm coming in to do a deep clean of the kitchen in my opinion you cannot you cannot do spring cleaning without tackling the kitchen so that's what we're doing today i'm gonna take everything apart i'm gonna pull up that carpet we're gonna pull up the table the chairs everything we're doing everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please leave those down below if you haven't already subscribed to this channel go ahead and do that as well and watch me work this kitchen out Alright guys, so now we got everything cleaned up behind the stove and refrigerator. I am applying bug repellent. I don't have roaches or anything like that, but because I'm in an apartment and you have different kind of people that live in the building, you just never know. And also, the, where my apartment is positioned, I'm right next to woods and in the summertime, you know, it's the best time for the bugs to come out so i just want to be prepared for <clears throat> nasty neighbors or outside critters that might be lurking in the woods <laughs> so that's why i'm putting that down there just in case you guys were wondering about that
All right, guys, so now we're tackling the top part of things. We've got the flooring all taken care of, the woodwork down there. So we're going to go ahead and focus in on the countertops, the walls, and all of the uh, appliances and any wall decor that we may have hanging up. So those need to have some refreshing done to it as well. So come on and let's go and get this done too. I'ma make you mine tonight Pulling your hair, baby I feel you breathing on me, on you You know that I'm a selfish lover When it's mine, I want it One track mine for it, for you I don't think I can live your dreams tell me everything yeah do it i'll 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 do it parties never over for me my favorite toy story both people's chasing me I'm the king, they call me Come find the key, baby Baby I don't think I can let you go I don't think I can let you go Bet you love me before I go Bet you love me before I go I don't think I can let you go I don't think So aside from cleaning, I believe my next favorite part would be to decorate and i feel like in this space which is one of the things that inspired me to do this video is to show you how i go about picking pieces where i want them to go and things like that on top of the countertops because in my opinion this may be one of the hardest next to next to um creating the bookcase uh, the putting the decor and things like that on the bookcase I feel like the countertop is a very challenging area in the space 
So I wanted to bring you my thoughts, you know, what goes into my thinking, what I want to place there, why I'm placing it there. So doing this part of things, I'll go through and um, kind of pop in with the voiceovers and let you know what my thinking process was while decorating the countertop. So stick around and I'll come in with bits and pieces to share with you those thoughts. Okay, so the first piece I'm placing is that vase with the flower arrangement in there. And this spot right here is very narrow and small. So I didn't want anything too much over here in this area. And I'm also a cord hider, plug hider. So I want something that has enough height on it where it's going to hide those plugs and move from there so i left the flower arrangements there and then on the other side of the stove i'm just kind of creating a layering type of effect here so I, i'm a cooker and i like to do different recipes so i want my books close by and that for me in this video was a little challenging because i needed that to be in a place where it is going to be attractive in that space and also go with the decor. So I didn't want anything to fight against that. So you're gonna see me kind of move that situation around a bit because before I become satisfied with the last choice. Moving over to the coffee and the cereal area, this area over here was a bit more easier for me to kind of finagle things around a bit and place them in a spot a little faster than it was on the other side over there by the stove. So of course, some things were self-explanatory. And also guys, I want to um, let you know that in placing things especially over in this area a lot of times i make my decisions based off what's in the cabinet as well so in this area i have my coffee cups the cereal bowls and plates and glasses and cups and things like that are over here so it just makes sense to have the coffee bar cereal bar area 
over here in this space. The only thing that I was fussing with was the placement of that cute little plant and the sign of but coffee first. So other than that, everything else was pretty easy. So you're gonna see me moving things around until I come to a final decision over here too. <laughs> Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of y'all we are rounding the corner i see a finish line in my eyesight we are now doing the last part of cleaning which would be the floors so you know i love this tool i rely on this tool every single day and this is my shark it's my wet and my vacuum so i can mop I can sweep and mop at the same time. So if you haven't invested in one, please don't hesitate to invest in one. We're now setting up the table. You're gonna see me switch this table around. And that's because I was trying to see maybe if I could turn it a different angle, but it didn't work. So we're just gonna roll with the way it was before. Placing those chairs, just the place where I want them to be. And just making sure everything is balanced and even and right, you know. So we're going to move into the decorating of the table. And I will let you guys finish the rest of this video out without my mouth. All right, fancy beauty symbols. So we are done with the kitchen. And some of the clips I was going back because I told you guys I was missing um, or actually running out of space. So the beginning part of me taking down the table, taking up this rug and vacuuming and things like that. <laughs> I can't get it to you. I tried and I tried and I tried. But this is the final product. 
I did pull out the stove and the refrigerator and I cleaned behind there I can't remember if I got all the clips in there or not but hopefully I did but this is everything and I wanted to leave my lights up I'm putting in an order for some of those um, like the magnetic strip lights but until those get here we're just gonna roll with these because I like the vibe it gives at night it's a lot of light and by these running on batteries I get to keep that night light over the microwave off so these will work for now and since they're in sections as well I can kind of like if I'm doing cocoa or tea or something like that over here, I can uh, just turn this set of lights on and I just have the um, box back here and I can, you know, reach back there, turn that on and off. And it is on a timer, so I really don't have to go through and turn it on and off, but I like to save the battery because you know they got that rigged up for us as well. So we we'll have to keep running out buying these batteries. <laughs> but this is everything right here. I still got to go back and put the soap in there. I forgot to do that or kind of got interrupted by the kids. You know how that go. But this is everything you guys. Um, one more project I got to do is I gotta go up top, up here on the uh, top of the cabinets and wipe all of that down. I was gonna do that today, but um, the boys kinda need my attention and I've given just about my whole day to this kitchen. So, and I still gotta go through and clean the refrigerator. That's gonna get done today. So I'll do that. Um, I will say I bring y'all along with me with that, but I don't have any space left on this phone. So, just want to give you a last look of everything so you can see how it turned out. I absolutely love the vibe of this table. I don't know why, but I do. A little bit of wood and metals and gold mixed with the silver just I really really am enjoying that the bowl came from um, Target and I think I purchased this a couple years ago along with the moth balls and the uh, green limes that's in there so all of this came from TJ Maxx I'm sorry Target the vases you guys know I've had that forever and also the gold leaves I've had that forever as well and those stick balls I don't know where I got those from but I've had those forever as well. And I guess I'll take you through over here so you can see the coffee bar, if you will. So I just have my um, sign. This came from Big Lots, I believe. And it just says, all I need is a cup of coffee and a heart full of Jesus. And then this I've had forever but first coffee and I think I got that from Big Lots when I lived in Murphy and then this situation in the back came from Home Goods of course purchased separately and the coffee maker I've had that forever as well this is my new baby. I absolutely love this. She makes me smile every time I look over here. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the color of the base or if it's 
how the leaves are in here. But every time I look over there, I just get a big smile on my face. <laughs> and then um, this is the cocoa station right here. So I love that. This was uh, a Christmas gift. So that's why you see the box back there. And so I just build my own little uh, um, cocoa packages in there to have that in there. And then that's my favorite mug. Jesus and coffee. And then my under mugs. I love you. I have two of those in there. I gotta fill the cereal. Um, that's the detail I wanted to do before I bought the video to you. This beautiful clock, I I had this, oh, maybe three years ago. Um, where did I purchase this from? I, I want to say rooms to go, but I'm not sure, guys. And then the, not the paper towel holder, that came from Home Goods. And the flowers, I already had those. The vase, I already had it. And the book, I've already had that. That humidifier, um, actually, what do you call that? Diffuser. That, I don't remember where that came from. And then my little situation right here. Uh, cocktails, anyone? So I'm just using that just to layer. And then also with the, um, yeah, I'm a cord hider. <laughs> and then my cutting board that came from Home Goods. The Hero came from Home Goods. The teapot came from uh, Ross. And this came from Ross as well. And that I've had forever. And the vase is from ooh, Bill's outlet and I've had that forever too and that's it you guys those towels I believe those came from home goods so one more looky